My name is Carsten Pallodan. I'm a program manager in the AX Retail Services team. In this video, I will show how to set up an account for online services from AX 2012. The online services are currently available in US only, and this functionality is only visible in legal entities in US. Payment services can be set up under the accounts receivable area, but commerce and site services are set up under the organization administration area, and in this video I will show how to set up commerce services. We have developed a configuration checklist that helps you through the steps that are necessary to set up commerce services. In the configuration checklist, I can see that I have not yet set up an account. When I click Set up account online, a browser is launched where I can sign in with my preferred Windows Live ID. In this case, the Windows Live ID I used was not associated with an account yet, and therefore I get the chance to register a new account. If I already had an account set up with this Windows Live ID, I would my screen will look a bit different, and I would have the opportunity to associate that account with my AX. But in this case, I would set up a new account. To identify the customer, we use the customer account number from customer source. For this demo, I will skip that step, but the consequence is that I will only be able to sign up for a demo account. If I entered the customer account number, I'll have the opportunity to get a real production account from this drop-down. I will proceed to sign up for a demo account for Contoso. I will read and understand the service agreement and agree to that. And finally, I will click sign up. An account is now created and um, I will now see the next steps for setting up uh, commerce services for my AX 2012. I will click close and I will see that Commerce Services is now set up for this AX legal entity. I now have an account with Commerce Services. I've now, I will now show how to add site services to the existing account. So I will close my online services account setup form. I'll get back to the configuration checklist, but instead of continuing to set up Commerce, I will close this and from the organization administration area under site services, I will add site services to the existing account. So I'll click online services account. I'll click set up account online. I will log in with the Windows Live ID used before. And note that because I already have set up an account, this experience will look a bit different. It will basically says, say that there are no site services available, so we'll sign up and add this to the existing account. Again, because I did not add a real customer account number, I will only have the opportunity to choose a demo account. I will click I agree to this services agreement and I will click sign up. The final page will show the next steps on how to set up site services. I'll click close. 
and I will be back on the online service account phone. This was a short video to show how to set up an online service account for AX 2012. In another video, I will continue to show how to manage these accounts and how to set up uh, services for multiple legal entities.